digitization is the rule of the world and is quickly growing and covering the entire nations. There are days when it started with paper-based system. Now, be it anything, automation is the key for faster delivery of any system. So we propose you a system called eChalan Automated for RTO using RFID. Here the user can manage all his paper and legal documents pertaining his vehicle, be it any kind of vehicle or any number of vehicle. He can see the list of penalties he was imposed and many other things. Traffic inspectors work has minimized using this system as they just have to enter the car details and with one go they get all the information and papers they need for the vehicle. Let's see how it works. So the traffic inspector has directly to enter his username and password. Okay so this is the dashboard. So let's start with the bottom one. So these are the laws and rules, the title of the law, the description, fine and the date when it was initialized. So let's go to vehicle details. Here the device is already connected to a RFID scanner. So if I scan a card, this is the details of the user or the owner of the vehicle. These are the vehicle details and the third tab is for the penalty. So as we can see there are no penalties recorded on this vehicle so if I click on vehicle I can see all the details along with that I can see few documents here so if I click on say PUC so the document has been downloaded and you can see the PUC paper here and if I click it again it won't download since it has already been downloaded it will just open Similarly, I can see another floating icon here on whichever tab I go. So if I select on that, it will take me to the fine page automatically adding the number plate or the car number. So let's go back. Let's go to vehicle details again. Let's scan another card. Okay, so you can see a button called more vehicles on the bottom. This button is visible if a user has more than one vehicle registered in the system. So if I click on it, I can see two numbers are registered. So let's click on the second one. It has a DC Avanti. Let's go the first one. It's a Lambo. So let's add a fine. Let's select a fine. Submit. So the fine is submitted. Let's go back to the vehicle details. Let's go to penalty. It's uh, There is a penalty added but it's not been paid. So once the user pays it, from the admin section the status will be changed. If the traffic inspector wants to directly go on the second one, raise a fine. If, uh, if he clicks on it, he has to enter the car number. So let's So this is it, thank you.